Hello watch fans. Birth year watches here and this time for you we have a 1978 Roma men's watch. This is the Vanguard 304. It's got the original papers with no date on and it's got the receipt for 1978. Now this model number doesn't mean anything on Google and it doesn't relate to this watch. So whether that's an internal stock number or they made a mistake, we're not sure. This all came together. So we're pretty certain it's right. It is a Gents Roma wristwatch. It would be odd for it to be different, especially when you consider the originality of this. And that's what this watch particularly is original. Let me just give a, a thumbprint mark off there because that's going to annoy me. So, how original is this watch? Well, box and papers is one thing. Signed crown on a manual wine watch is always nice to see because it gets worn quite a lot. It's like looking at uh, pedal rubbers on a car. They get worn quite a lot the more the car's worn. This has the Roma buckle. These are very rare. You don't see these very often, so we suspect this strap, which is old, may be the original too. It's not signed, but why would we take it off? There's all the model numbers on the back. It's a press-on case back. It's not the Roma press-through case. As I say, it's a manual wine movement. It will have been made before 1978, obviously, but a few years before, because they stopped making in-house movements, and this is in-house, this is a Roma movement, they stopped making those in 1975. So it was maybe built and kept in stock for a little while. All good condition. Only very, very minor marks. And what most people would call collector condition when you've got all this with it. Roma watches aren't terribly expensive. They were in the day in the 70s they started to come down in price uh, but you're still talking sort of a good Seiko money back then you weren't going to get one very cheap and in this condition probably less than a, a comparable Seiko good eh you can see more on this watch at berthierwatches.com and we've put a link in the video below if you want to hit that subscribe button We'll try and put more interesting vintage watches in your inbox. Thanks for watching.